probably that we all wear matching PJs on Christmas morning. Um, and I grew out of mine, so I'm now just allowed to wear red ones. But my mom and dad still wear matching nightgowns, and it's really funny to see my dad come down the stairs wearing his nightgown in the morning. Um, and we all take pictures together, and it just looks hilarious. My favorite holiday tradition in the Clark household is making almond roca from scratch. And I've never done it, but I've always watched my mom and I help her, and it's really, really, really delicious. It's just basically sugar and butter, and you melt it down, and then you put it all in a pan and melt some chocolate on top, and then crush up some nuts and put that on top, and then freeze it, and it's just Christmas candy, and it's so delicious. We always go over to my dad's parents' house on um, Christmas Eve, so like there, and that whole side of the family we celebrate there. Uh, my grandma every year puts on her like Santa hat and pretends that she's Santa every year. And she's the only one that's allowed to touch presents until she gives it to you. She calls herself Santa. And we still get presents from Santa, which means it's from her. So that's like my favorite little thing that, that happens every year that I love. Well, every Christmas Eve we get to open one present, so it's always a good decision where you have to pick which present it is. Um, we also usually go for a family beach walk after we open presents on Christmas morning. Um, just spending time as a family, that's pretty much the biggest <laughs> thing we do. My grandma always buys my sisters and brother and I pajamas for the night before Christmas and they're usually big footy pajamas and last year we got cheetah print ones and they were really cute so that's always what I like. A puppy. A puppy. I always want a puppy and I never get it. Another dog, I think. It's probably a puppy. <laughs> Like, we've always had a dog growing up, but we, there's no better thing than a puppy on Christmas morning. We never got it. <laughs> like Barbie or Jeep car. I have always wanted one of those. I still want one of those. Um, my friends had ones growing up, and I would, my parents could not pry me out of those cars, and they're always super cool. When we get those magazines, I always look at them. Even though they're ridiculously expensive, They've always been my favorite. The gift I always wanted but I never got was a pony. Um, I actually did kind of get that, uh, but it was never on Christmas morning, so um, no complaints there. We did get a unicycle one year, and that was really interesting because I don't think any of us actually learned how to ride it. It's this little like Santa sweater that I made when I was really young and it says Sammy 1993 or something on it but it just reminds me of my grandpa because we made it together and it always goes on the top because I put it near the top. <laughs> it is a bumblebee but it is cracked and so it's taped and it goes back to when I was really little I was in an ornament shop. I love Christmas but um, my mom was like don't touch anything and of course it's like ha ah, ha touch everything and I have this like little bumblebee in my hand and I dropped it and it's sh like sh broke off a wing. And every year the bumblebee goes up on the tree to remind me that I shouldn't touch things in ornament stores. They're like picture frames essentially and they have really funny photos of us as kids and we always just joke about them. So one of them, my sister has like a mushroom cut, haircut, and she just looks like a little boy and we always make fun of her and it's so much fun. It's a little stork with holding a baby and I always get to put it on the tree because it's my ornament. <laughs> it's my baby ornament. <laughs> I went with a friend of mine, Colleen O'Donnell, to watch the last London Olympics and they had some really cool ornaments there. Some of like the double-decker buses and um, some of uh, just the Olympic rings and everything. And so that that's one that I purchased on my own in London and kind of have a fun trip um, to relate to that ornament. So I'd say that's one of my favorites because I have a story behind it. Ham. <laughs> ham. I love ham and I love Christmas ham and Thanksgiving. I don't really like turkey, so I wait for Christmas for ham and I love it and it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna go ham on some Christmas ham. You could always go with, they have matzo all year round, so you could always go with the chocolate dipped matzo, which is always nice. Um, but sticking with the Christmas cookies, maybe some nice sugar cookies that are uh, Star of David shaped, those are always good. <laughs>
yeah, not anything that comes directly to my mind. I would say favorite holiday food is the almond broca, but um, close seconds are a family's Captain Woodby's biscuits. Um, I, don't, I can't really explain them, but they're really, really good biscuits. I don't think so, like nothing like extremely special. I just, I eat everything. Hi, I'm KK Clark. I'm Ashley Grossman. I'm Cody Hill. I'm Rachel Fatal. I'm Sammy Hill. This week on The Counterattack, we're talking holidays. Tune in.